Police arrested a suspect accused of starting a fire at a local nursing home. WDRB Stefan Johnson tells us who's charged with the crime. It happened last week behind me here at the Valhalla Post Acute Nursing Home. An employee has been arrested and charged with the crime, and the alleged victim believes it was attempted murder. I went to the hospital because my stomach was hurting real bad. Daniel Fisher lives at the Valhalla Post Acute Nursing Home on Shelby Station Drive and had to be rushed to the hospital last Wednesday. I'm having some issues with my health. But the scariest part of the trip? A visit from the fire inspector. The fire inspector came up to the hospital and told me a fire had been started in my room. After questioning Fisher, fire investigators shared some disturbing news. He says, well, now that I got a feel of what you were saying, I can tell you it wasn't a resident that it was an employee here. That employee, 39-year-old Justin Camposano, who was arrested and charged with arson. He got caught red-handed at this time. There was a camera on the door, and 45 minutes after I had left, he started the fire in my chair. According to this police citation obtained by WDRB News, Camposano intentionally started a fire in room 220 and was allegedly heard making a threat about Fisher. I, uh, I want the old effing guy out of here. So obviously when they got there, they could tell that it had been, in fact, um, intentionally set. So that's why they made the call to arson. Jordan Yotis is with Anchorage Middletown Fire and EMS and says the damage was minimal, but could have been a lot worse. If the fire was still very, very small, um, and suddenly we have 10 or 15 or 20 patients that have smoke inhalation, I mean, that instantly becomes a mass, a mass casualty incident. I'm a nervous wreck right now. Meanwhile, although the suspect has been terminated, Fisher still has concerns. To me, it, it was personal. You know, he, he wanted to kill me. You know, that's the way I feel uh, about it. Mr. Fisher has been moved to a new room, but says he still has concerns about his safety. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.